The Game and Fish Department uses helicopters and net guns to trap and collar any number of different species. Bighorn sheep, mule deer, elk, even mountain lions. But moose, if not the most interesting, are certainly the largest. So they would shoot the net out over the moose, you know, she would get tangled up in it, and then they'd get close enough and low enough for the mugger and the gunner to jump out then and, and basically bulldog her down to the ground. GPS collars were fitted on each cow moose. They'll enable Smith and his crews to better track movements in this very inhospitable environment. Well, basically what we're looking for in the northwest part of the state um, is survival of our adult cows, uh, seasonal movement primarily, um, and that's what we can get from those collars. The biologists also draw blood during the collaring process to test for diseases and also to see how many of the cows are expecting calves. By collecting the blood from them, we could see if the cows were pregnant, which we had very good reproductive uh, success for the most part. Smith did a follow-up flight last spring to try to reconcile the pregnancy data with real-time births. We did a flight in May to see if these cows had calves because we could go back and relocate them from the air. Seasonal movement data was interesting. Smith says the cows located in the river bottoms near Williston pretty much stayed put, while those collared animals near Kenmare had more of a wanderlust. We had a couple cows that have gone 50 miles or more, and we did have one cow that went 65 miles. All this data will be correlated with information from previous surveys to help better manage one of the state's most valuable resources. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.